My name is Faith Danisha Finley. I'm 24 years old. I like to go places sometimes. I like to look on Facebook. I like to um I like to play with my little cousins. I like to watch TV, do anything that's fun though. Riding up on the, I like riding on the swings of Great America. I like, um, you know, I like to just ride the one time the crawler though. It's purple ride, and I like this other ride though. That kind of, you know, it's a um, white ride. Take you kind of up in the air and back and forth, and then it, you know, it goes around though. It's, you know, it's real fun. And I like, um, you know, I like to the boat of Great America too though. I get, you know, I like the boat, but um. And I had took pictures at my cousin Trump party though because that's um you know that's something that's that's a um like a celebration that's fun too that she getting ready to go off to college and you know all her family sitting around and some of her family friends and one of her friends you know it's just fun though so I had um you know took a picture there though and I had um you know it's just a just good thing that we be doing though taking pictures of anything that's fun though that's why I got the camera for. They might have picked on me because you know they thought you know they thought I was kind of you know I don't you know I could I don't really want to say but I could say you know you know pick on me because I maybe because I have a disability or you know because I was you know they thought I was low and it got better because I had this teacher named Miss Brown and she um she you know she was kind of a strict teacher and she was kind of um a fun teacher. I like to I like to listen to music. I like to um you know and I'm just mostly angry and upset that I don't you know ain't too much I like to do though but just listen to music and you know um I cry sometimes though to myself though I'll be upset though and I hope that um you know whatever bothered me though just quit bothering me and um you know just you know, just try to be happy, though. And maybe their parents, or either maybe some people around them, think that they probably can't do certain things, and that's probably what's stopping them from doing it. You know, they shouldn't be protected, though, like you no know, little bitty babies, though, because they're not really no little bitty babies. They just, um, you know, they just got a, a disability. And that that shouldn't stop them from doing certain things or everything though because they got a disability. They got to um you know if they if they mama protect them a lot because they think they can't do nothing because they have a disability. Then you know they, they, they that's not really no good too much because then they be you know they be lonely a lot. They be have to stay in the house or either you know you know have to stay on the porch. They can't you know be in any you know how to any fun activities though. Just doing the same thing mostly you know every day. Joy Grant, 25 years old. I was born here in Chicago, Illinois, shot <laughs> <laughs> Access Living is a great supportive, but it makes you feel it's okay to have a disability. You know, it's all right to have a disability. I couldn't spell my name when I was a little kid. I had to write like five times my name down to remember it. And so that's one of the battles that I put in the pit. You know, I took a picture of five times my name and I can't read cursive. I only can read my own cursive. I can't read anybody else's cursive. And I took a picture of my mom. My mom wrote cursive 
but I couldn't write it in cursive. So that's that's a battle. The teachers definitely did not have enough patience for for me. Um, my support system person is my mom. Well, she don't consider us a support. It's called being a mom. <laughs> it's about being a mom, but some moms don't have support, and I'm very blessed to have my mom as support. Uh -huh. And she support me with my art a lot, even though if I feel like I'm not positive, she's very supportive with it of me with my career with the arts. And she drives me every, you know, she supports me from transportation and, you know, and she supports me with everything I do. And she was my first role model when I was little because she was a great leader. I wanted to be like her when I was a little kid. <laughs> you know, you pick doctors and teachers but really I wanted to be her <laughs> so she's my first best friend I was a little kid and yeah um I live with my mom and dad and my brother I have an older brother and me she only had two kids so Mm -hmm. It's just me and my brother and my mom and dad. <laughs> and um, we had, I call it say not perfect, but it's like up and down. We have good days and we have bad days. But we still love each other. And mm -hmm. We were taught to have important family. Family is important. I mostly got teased a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it at all. I faked sick a lot, like sometimes. I faked sick like if I was getting a headache. I like to do is art. Mm -hmm. I was like, art really saved my life. Mm -hmm. Like my whole life through grammar school, through high school, art always was my therapist mm -hmm. when I didn't have a therapist. Mm -hmm. It was definitely my therapist. Mm -hmm. And I still can socialize. That's how I had. Art does give you a, a good way to social because they want to know what you're doing. <laughs> when you have a sketchbook and <laughs> or you know explain yourself. Oh, I I really want to be a, a artist. I, I could be an artist, it's just, you know, have my own gallery or start a business mm -hmm. or be a teacher, teach other people to find a way of showing art or, you know, have my own business, really. Mostly. Mm -hmm. I want it so badly because. It helps, it helps me in my life. Maybe I can help other person or other people to find their, their itch, their, their goals, their, it, you know, there are talent there. Some people always say they don't have the talent, but 
they do have a tattoo. Vanessa Diane Harrison, 25. I love Mentry School. That was great. Cause I used to be with my friends and stuff like that. And I used to hold I used to like a whole lot of people. The most important things to me right now is trying to find a job, trying to get out of the house every day. Mm -hmm. um, trying to open my own business. Um, and that's it. I want to go back to school. That's what I want to accomplish. And I want to, uh, have a job, have a car. Have a an apartment. That's what I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. I feel like other people with disability want to want to venture the world. I think that's so because my friends want to be happy and be like in their own skin and get a job and move out and get money and that's it. When everyone else is more comfortable remaining voiceless rather than fighting for humans that have had their rights stolen. I might not be the same, but that's not important. No freedom till we're equal. Damn right I support it. I was born in Chicago. The photos I brought in are portraits of me and my siblings. Mm -hmm. The first is the first portrait was us when my youngest brother was born, and I can remember that time so vivid because I was 11, and it was just weird because I had these two brothers. Mm -hmm. And now here it is, I have a third. So it's like, why do we need another? Yeah. And so I just remember that he was kind of the, well, not hated, but it was like, why do we need another brother type thing. And then the next photo was also a sibling portrait. And that was us in, it was more of a lovey-dovey type moment because we had matching shirts. Mm -hmm. And we were all old enough to know that you know, another brother wasn't so bad. And those sibling portraits are special to me because to this day we can't get a perfect picture like the one we had because somebody's always acting up. Because mm -hmm. it's boys. They just, I don't know, somebody's always making a face. So it's like my mom hates take, she tries to take pictures. Someone's always making a face. Mm -hmm. So we're having to spend at least an hour trying to get a picture from my mother because she's, oh, we're all together. Let's take a picture right now. And mm -hmm. it just takes forever to get a picture done. It's more of a challenge now than it ever was when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But they still follow suit because I am the only girl. So they, they recognize and they know I'm kind of feisty. So I think for them, they don't want to hear my mouth about it, so they follow suit. Yeah. Nothing's really changed. Mm -hmm. 
I was the type of person, we had clicks, of course, but I was the type of person that kind of went from click to click because I knew somebody in each click. And so it was just a big open season type thing. Okay, the person right now in my life that's most important is my mother because she's been the support from back then and still is now. Mm -hmm. Things have to be church mm -hmm. and I want to say access living because I get to put my input about social and emotional things. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to release and not hold that inside you all the time. An ally would want what you want, so they would help you fight for your right if it's being taken away. So, like, you wouldn't have to, I think if you have an ally, you don't have to worry about being pushed under the radar or being skipped over because that person wants exactly what you want. They're there to help in any way they can. That's what a strong ally is. Play.